Hey, Jing Wen, uh, mm. you brought us something special to tear down today. Yeah, the Simple Human Sensor Mirror. It has a sensor at the top edge of the mirror that senses when your face is in front of the mirror. And this is a concave shape that can magnify your face. It has a LED ring on the bottom to indicate charge. And there is a capacitive touch sensor on the back that you can use to adjust the brightness of the light. I noticed that your skin looks really nice, like <laughs> almost like flawless. Um, I looked into this mirror and I saw horrible, horrible things <laughs> that I don't want to see again. Is it, is, do you get over that initial shock of like, oh yeah. God? Yeah. Yeah, the first couple of days when I'm using it, it's kind of depressing because I can see all the wrinkles and spots on my face. But then I got used to that because mm -hmm. what you see there is not what you see in regular mirrors. Right. So after you do all your makeup in this mirror with all the details, and then when you change to regular mirror, you look flawless. Uh, how much does this thing cost? It costs $200 for a mirror. mirror. Let's break into this thing. I want to know all about it. I'm very interested in the sensor. And most of all, I'm actually really interested in how they put it together. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's really challenging to take something apart um, when you don't know how it goes together. And really good industrial design sometimes does a very good job of obscuring how things fit. So uh, we spotted screws on the bottom and the back of the mirror, we took those out. The assembly came apart really easily. And then suddenly it got really, really hard. It was like a puzzle box. If we couldn't figure out how to get into it, we spudged and screwdrivered and tried to tear our way around the outside of the mirror and we ended up breaking it. Um, when we did break it though, we realized that it's designed to come off with heat. So you warm up the mirror, you use some suction cups, you can pull that off and then it exposed a whole bunch of screws on the inside. And so once it comes apart, you realize that all the subsystems are designed to uh, be assembled easily and to be taken apart easily. We tear down from the base, which has this holder, holds down a battery, um, and then it connects to the main board that has all the charging, uh, circuitry. charging circuitry and indication circuitry, and then it has this cable, cable wire that's connected to the button and the char charging port. And then it has another JST plug that's connected to this wire, uh, this cable that goes all the way up. And then there's this two LEDs that's super bright and facing uh, opposite directions for the light pipe. So these are incredible. These are half the size of a grain of rice. There's just two of them and they create that entire illuminated ring. Yeah. Right there. Right there. And these are custom designed. They have a specific CRI the color rendering index. Um, and when we're dealing with the color of light, that is, is what we're trying to control. And so to create, recreate sort of natural daylight on your skin, we want to have that um, be really well controlled. So these super bright LEDs inject light into this large light pipe. It's a half a full ring. They reflect light off of these tiny little dots in the back. Otherwise the light stays inside the ring. It's very minimal cast. So if you watch my finger here, it's not getting any brightness on it on this edge, but in front it's glowing bright. Right. And then they have this really nice diffuser and the effect is like a perfect ring of light. Right. I would say uh, the other interesting thing is that these LEDs are mounted on an unusual material um, and the purpose is to sink the heat because these get really hot, they're very bright. We need some way of distributing that. So that's an aluminum PCB or something like that? Yeah, I would say so. One of the, the product features of this is to have this really nice uh, brightening and dimming effect. Um, and the way that they did that is through using uh, this little IR infrared sensor that's hidden behind this window. Um, what is that? So an infrared sensor is actually two things. There's an emitter, which is an LED here, um, and a receiver sensor, uh, which is a little sensor that's over there. Emitting light, and then when there's something there to reflect it, uh, that sensor is receiving that re that reflection. It's an interesting idea of that uh, Simple Human, they have this, they use this IR sensor in across different variety of products, like right. for Miro, for uh, hand soap dispenser and for trash can, it seems ir irrelevant, but then you can use this same sensor to trigger the functionality. Here we have the uh, capacitive sensor. Um, it is split into a few segments, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so that's going to give you about eight levels of brightness. It looks like they're fading in between those to give the appearance that it has, you know, more levels of brightness, but interesting. Um, yeah. Cool. And, you know, to go back to like this design for assembly element to this whole thing's held together with screws. There's only that one glue point. It's also designed to snap together from an electronic standpoint. Uh, there are these, as you said, JST connectors, connectors. everywhere. And, um, and yeah, all these parts, all these subsystems uh, are easy to connect and disconnect. So if this PCB was dead, they could just take it, pop off these things, snap in a new one, and screw it all back together. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people do that. Oh yeah, so uh, are there yeah. any like drawbacks to how this thing works? Um, because it's an IR sensor, like it can be triggered by my cat. So in the midnight I'm sleeping and my cat just walked across my mirror and it just brights up the entire bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bummer. So uh, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us, Jinglin. Thank you for inviting yeah, me. It was great. Bye. Bye. See, see you. In the future, wouldn't it be cool if this had a screen inside of it so in the morning when you're getting ready, you could see the weather um, or your meetings or something like that. I like that idea. I, I know a lot of those uh, mirrors have like the, there's the concave side that makes your face look horrible and then there's the regular side which is just for like checking your hair out and yeah. stuff. Right. Um, maybe like the regular side could be like your info mirror and then you flip it over and it's got like, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. could be cool.